Welcome to Frank Bill Performance and Meats. Today, I wanna to show you guys what we are doing for St. Patty's Day. So I was originally planning on just smoking corned beef brisket, keeping it traditional, but then I had an idea. What if I made a burger? So I started kind of thinking how to do it, doing a little homework on it. And uh, about two weeks ago, I watched a video from my friend Mike over at Weekend Warrior Barbecue, and uh, he did a how-to for corned beef brisket in a pit boss smoker. And he had an idea to actually smoke cabbage. And what he did was, I have to rewatch the video to kind of get my how-to back, but he took the uh, little mustard peppercorn packet that comes with the brisket, and he used that to season his uh, cabbage. I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. So I had an idea of what if I grounded my corned beef, made hamburger patties out of it, smoked them, and then grilled them, and then smoked my cabbage to top my uh, burger patties. And then I was thinking to take a little mustard, uh, radish, and mayo, and make it an aioli. I don't know if it's gonna work out, but we're gonna give it a try. So today what I'm gonna do is, uh, I have my grinder here, which I have not used yet. All the parts for it are actually in the freezer. Um, a big thing with doing this, I read, is you wanna keep everything really, really cold. So I'm gonna cube this, which I have six pounds of corned beef brisket and about two pounds of fat that I bought from my butcher, which I believe is gonna give me around maybe 70, 30 to 80, 20. This is a lean cut of meat. Um, so I just want to add fat to it so our burgers don't dry out. I do want that traditional grease burger taste, feel, but I want that corned beef brisket taste. So what we're going to do, we're going to toast the rye bread, we're going to make some aioli, smoke our corned beef brisket ground patties, grill them off, and make a Reuben burger. So let's get these things cubed up and then we will set our machine up and get everything ground. Right, welcome back, we got our meat all ground up. I'm trying not to laugh because this is like the 50th time I've said, all right, welcome back, we got the meat all ground up because I'm horrible at making videos. But we are back, our meat is ground up. Um, I ended up putting a different head on, the smaller head. And bloopers, right, and so bloopers. Mm -hmm. Okay, bloopers. So our meat's all ground up. We have this uh, mustard dry rub. <laughs> oh boy. We have our mustard dry, I'm gonna keep this in the video. I don't care. Is it the tequila hit you? The tequila. All right, so uh, we have our mustard dry rub that we are gonna season all this. I'm gonna mix it up with my hands and then we're gonna re-grind it, let it sit in the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow we're gonna measure out four to five ounce patties. I think I'm going for a third pound burger. So yeah, four to five ounces. And then uh, I'm gonna put them back in the fridge. So I wanna keep this as cold as possible. And then uh, we're gonna go up on our parents' house tomorrow and uh, we'll finish the video in the smoker. So let's get this patted down, seasoned, and we will mix it all up and re-grind it. Gotta have mustard on the corned beef. Everybody, my camera lady is finally awake. So uh, I got the patties made this morning. I just 
I'll put pictures of what I did in the video since we couldn't record. But it's time to get our cabbage on. And you can see what I did here was uh, I halved it and then I cut it in quarters and then I made slits to kind of slide butter in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in the smoke for about an uh, hour and a half. I'm going to come out here, give it a peek. Hopefully it's not dried out. We'll get some nice smoke flavor on it. And then I'm gonna add our packet of the uh, black pepper and mustard seasoning to this. And then we're gonna cover it and let it go for another hour and a half, total three hours or so. And then we're gonna use this to put on top of our burgers. And in the meantime, we're gonna go make some aioli. And in about an hour and a half, we'll put our burgers on, get some smoke, pull them off, and finish them up. So we will see you in a little bit. Okay, so we had our burgers in smoke for about an hour. I turned up the grill and opened up the sear plate and now we are gonna grill these off. Let's take a look. I'd say they have about another five or six minutes to go. So we're gonna keep grilling and then uh, we have some bread that I'm gonna throw on and toast. So we'll get those finished up and see you inside. Okay, we are back. We got our burgers grilled up. Uh, we toasted our bread out there as well. So let's get this burger built and give it a try. I have some cabbage here that we smoked. Now this is horseradish brown mustard and a mayo aioli that we made that we're going to drizzle over the top. All right. Let's uh, cut this thing and see how see what we got. Still juicy. All right, let's give her a try. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. If that ain't a Reuben burger, I don't know what it is. Wow. There you have it. I hope you guys try this.